Hello everyone, this is Kevin from the Awesome Public Library Children's Room, welcoming you back to Discover Your World, Amazing Africa. This is the second video in the series, so if you missed the first one, you should check that out first. Otherwise, let's continue our exploration of the continent of Africa with eight more interesting geographic locations. Our first is the Great Zimbabwe. The Great Zimbabwe is a ruined city of an advanced civilization in southern Africa. Some of the oldest and largest stone structures in Africa can be found here. We don't know a lot about the civilization that lived here, but we do know the city mined metals like gold and iron and traded with the Middle East. We also know the British archaeologists tried to hide and deny that the city was built by Native Africans, but the truth is hard to keep down. The country of Zimbabwe takes its name from the Great Zimbabwe, and they take great pride in the city. The African Union is a pan-African diplomatic organization headquartered in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. They attempt to address conflicts and challenges in the continent of Africa so you can guess what they're working on right now with the coronavirus running wild. They're similar to and they work with the United Nations, an organization that does basically the same thing but on a worldwide scale. The Kalahari is a desert in southern Africa. It's the sixth largest desert in the world and the second largest in Africa. We'll talk about the biggest one later. It covers the majority of the country of Botswana. It has distinct orange sands, so you can usually tell if a picture is of the Kalahari. The Kalahari is a semi-arid desert, which means it has more moisture, and therefore it has more vegetation than most desert areas. Unlike many deserts, which are almost completely abandoned, there can, a number of settlements can be found in the Kalahari. The Congolian Rainforest is a large rainforest in the center of Africa. It's the second largest rainforest in the world after the Amazon. It covers much of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the Republic of the Congo, Cameroon, Gabon, and parts of the Central African Republic. Unlike other rainforests, such as the Amazon and those in Indonesia, the Congolian rainforests are not being rapidly destroyed. So hopefully these ecosystems can be preserved. They contain nearly 3,000 unique species of plants and many unique endangered animals. You can see in the pictures a couple of the animals here, uh, the chimpanzee and the okapi. The Ruanzari mountain range is in eastern Africa. It makes up the border of the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Uganda. The highest peak in the range is Mount Stanley. This is one of the most pristine natural areas in the world. Not too many people come and visit it, so it's still very well preserved. It is home to many distinctive plant species uniquely adapted to the climate. You can see a few of them. On the right. Um, one problem though is that climate change may be threatening the region as the glaciers begin to melt. So even though it is, hasn't been too disturbed by mankind, it still could be in trouble. Nigeria is up next. It is a very large country in Western Africa. It's also an extremely diverse country with 250 ethnic groups. Currently it has over 200 million people, but it's on pace to become the third most populous country in the world by the year 2050. That would make it more populous than the United States. Abuja is its capital, while Lagos is its largest city, which is on the coast. The official language there is English, but over 500 different languages are spoken across the country. Nigeria is a growing country and may become one of the big economic powers in the world in the future, so keep your eye on them. It's Lanawana, is a former battlefield in South Africa. The British, who were at the time the most powerful military in the world, had begun an invasion of Zululand in South Africa. The British were much more technologically advanced, but the Zulu forces defeated them anyway, leading to one of the biggest military humiliations of all time. Our final location for this video is Madagascar. Madagascar is a large island nation off the coast of Africa. It's the fourth largest island in the world. Many of the plants and animals that live here are found nowhere else in the world, most famously the lemurs. It's estimated that about 80% of the creatures, plants, and animals that live on the island are found nowhere else. The culture of the people of Madagascar is very interesting because it's influenced by so many sources. Hindu and Buddhists who came over from Indonesia were one major source while the Bantu settlers from Mozambique were another. So that was our last location for Discover Your World Amazing Africa Part 2. Please check out the third part when it's available.
This has been Kevin from the Austin Public Library encouraging you to always be discovering your world.